Who do you think is cleaner, girls or boys? Girls. Boys. Girls. Girls. Boys. Girls. 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 Boys. Kinda depends on what type of boy you are. Um, nothing. This is the washrooms. I've already picked up some of the big major stuff, but it's so pretty messy. I'm in the girls' bathroom right now. And let's look into the main area. What is this, Kigus? I understand where your parents are coming from now. So messy. We need to do a better job cleaning up after ourselves. Look at that. Your parents, I totally understand. I, I see it all now, I see it all, Kikus. All right, we're gonna head over to the boys, let's see who's worse. All right, I'm in the boys right now. So far, it's looking pretty good. They don't have a lot, of, a lot of hair, so this part should be pretty okay. All right. Hmm, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, not a lot of big garbage around here. Oh, that's pretty messy. Oh, the toilet's a little bit off. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's not, not too bad, not too bad. Stuff lying around, like, little shoes. How do you leave your shoes at practice? A little bit of garbage over here. Although I do have to say, I think the boys win it this week with cleanliness. They're pretty good. Hi Kiku, so that was just a quick note on cleanliness. I think we can all do a better job, even the coaches keeping our pool and our change rooms clean. Anyway, coming up this week, we have movie night. So we have only about 30 swimmers signed up now. We have 85 spots, so we have about 50 spots left for all our swimmers for movie night. Deadline is 1 p.m. tomorrow, so get signing up as soon as you can. Next, Canada Day Parade. Canada Day Parade is, <laughs> sorry, is coming up really soon. We need parent volunteers to help build our float, and we also need all the Kiku swimmers to come on the day up. We're going to be participating in the salmon, um, salmon Festival Parade, so it's tons of fun. We cheer all day long. It's super fun, so please come out. And we have some meets coming up. Port Moody is coming up this weekend. I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be our first heats and finals meet. So if you're coming to that, make sure that you are also planning to stay for finals. So finals are our second swims. Um, chance for you to get even faster. We also have Hoot Nanny signed up coming up. The deadline's tomorrow. Hoot Nanny is one of our focus meets. I'd really like as many swimmers as we can to the pool. It's a great meet to come to because all of the regions, a lot of clubs um, participate in that meet and I think it's a great way for us to compete against um, people in other regions. So if you're really looking to make provincials, this is a meet to come to. I know it's long, but we've got tons of time to play some cards, play some ukuleles, so sign up for the Hoot Nanny. And last but not least, seniors, sign up for Salt Spring. Uh, it's a great, exciting meet. It's really chill, there's a lake swim, it's gonna be tons of fun. Andre, Ava, and I are all going, so you're gonna have tons of fun with us. Uh, so sign up for that as soon as you can. And I wanna share my weekly read. It's <laughs> The Little Book of Talent by Daniel Coyle, who also wrote The Talent Code. Um, if you really wanna look on um, research or the science behind talent or improving or getting better at certain skills, whether it's swimming, um, playing an instrument, check out this book. I love reading it. This has a lot of practical tips that you can apply in your everyday life right away. All right, so that's it for this week. I'll see you next week.